Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One minute apologist. If you had one minute Apologia. to be able to unpack for the audience, Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. Is abortion sin? The greatest war in our culture today is taking place in the womb. In fact, more casualties have taken place in the womb than any other location in human history. Since Roe v. Wade was passed in 1973, there has been a staggering 50 million abortions in America alone. No doubt abortion is one of those hot button issues of our time, but we need more voices for the voiceless. Just because something is legal doesn't make it legit. Some plead abortion is necessary for the mother's health or for rape cases, but rape cases only make up 1% of all total abortions, and a woman's health is the case only 3% of the time. This means that 96% of all abortions simply take place because the father or mother isn't ready for the child. So why is abortion justifiably wrong? First, because all human beings, either in the womb or outside the womb, are created in God's image. This means we are to value all life equally, be it life in the womb or deform life outside the womb. Scott Klusendorf explains through the use of the acrostic sled the difference between a newborn and a preborn. He describes it this way, size, level of development, environment, or degree of dependency. Secondly, abortion is wrong because it breaks the sixth commandment. The Bible says, you shall not murder in Exodus 20, 13. Amazingly, even in our culture, if a person murders a pregnant person, they can be tried for double murder. Why is it considered murder if it wasn't the mother, but if it's the mother, it's simply called her choice? Furthermore, many women and men have experienced the hurt of abortion and have undergone tremendous emotional, spiritual, and physical health problems due to the trauma. Thankfully, if you have been a prisoner of your own guilt due to abortion, the gospel provides a grace-based solution. At the cross, we can all drink from the well of God's unconditional forgiveness.